Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, JB, from JB's Barbecue and Guns. Coming at y'all again today with a quick video about my 350 Legend. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know that I've been having some feeding issues with my 350 Legend build. Uh, I got done with it maybe about uh, a year or so ago, and I've just been having feeding issues with it. Uh, it won't feed correctly. Now, I have uh, three styles of magazines that I have been using. One is a AR Stoner magazine. One is a CMMG. And then we have a Duramag mag. But um, I, I actually have several of these, and none of them seem to work. But I did go out and purchase me some other mags that was uh, suggested to me by a friend of mine. I, I went and bought these uh, Lancer 350 Legend polymer mags, and they seem to work great, okay? Uh, I did some testing the other day, and what I also did, I swapped my old barrel out. So I had, I, I purchased a uh, Moriarty Armaments upper. For you all that's been following me, you'll know that I, I purchased that upper, and I sang praises about Moriarty Armaments, and then they let me down. But that's a that's another video, another story for another day. This barrel didn't seem to work with anything. So what I did is I went out and purchased me a uh, a Bear Creek Arsenal uh, stainless steel barrel, and I had it put in last week, okay? Stainless steel 16 inch barrel. And it seems to work fine, especially with these magazines right here, okay? It doesn't work quite well with these magazines that I showed you right here, but with those magazines right here, it seems to work well. And uh, I tested out two um, two brands of ammo. I tested out the American Whitetail 170 grain in it. And I tested out the Winchester 350 Legend 180 grain, okay? Those seem to work perfect in those magazines. But I'm gonna show you right now uh, how well these magazines work with this barrel compared to these magazines. Now, mind you, also in the old barrel, these magazines didn't work either, okay? So maybe it was a combination of both, but I think I got it figured out now, and I'm gonna set the camera up so I can show you what I'm talking about. And if this is your first time to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss any videos like this in the near future. All right, so the first ammo that I'm going to start out with to show you uh, how it, it uh, cycles through this this um, 350 Legend Duramag first is these Winchester uh, Super X 180 grain power points. There you see, it gets hung up just like that. So what I have to do, pull this back. Y'all know how to do it. And it's around in there already, so we have to be careful, okay? So let's just go ahead and close this up. Put that back in there and see if it cycles. I have 10 rounds loaded in here, by the way, all right? It's a round already in there, and it didn't uh, eject properly. Let's pull this out. We'll just get this round out. All right. That was the um, Winchester 180 grain uh, Super X power points out of the Duramag. Now I'm going to load up the 
Hornady American Whitetail 170 grain. All right, now I have the, the same magazine loaded up with 10 rounds of the Hornady American Whitetail 170 grain. Hang up. Another hang up. Another hang up. So we'll just stop that one right there, okay? <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to load up some rounds into this um, AR Stoner little mini mag right here. I'm going to load up about, I think it takes about 10 rounds. So I'll load up 10 rounds of the American Whitetail and the Winchester. Now I want to make sure that I show y'all this. I have some of these um, Winchesters right here, the 180 grains. And I have this uh, AR Stoner magazine that's supposed to take 10 rounds. But I want to show y'all, it says 350 Legend on the magazine. But I don't really think that these magazines are made for 350 Legend. I have three rounds in here already. So you can see I fit four. And it's already getting crowded. Like there's too many in here. And there's five. You see that? Now, I can't even fit six in there, which goes to tell me that this magazine isn't really fit for 350 Legend. So I'm not even going to use this magazine. All right, so let's go ahead and try these uh, Winchesters out first. Maybe not. <laughs> I did work the other day. So let's see. Now we have a lockback. So we had one hang up, but I think that was my fault. Okay. All right. So now we'll go ahead and do uh, 10 of these Hornady American Whitetail 170 grain. just fine so as you can see these uh polymer lancer mags along with this uh new barrel right here didn't have a problem with feeding either one of those rounds okay so i think i uh remedied my problem so the next test is just to go out and shoot with these mags right here and see how it runs so that will be the next video stay tuned for that one okay but as we always say this your boy jb with JB's Barbecue and Guns, saying y'all be easy, peace, be safe.